So we're gonna try something different today. I have not had a meal since 8 a.m. this morning and it's 3 p.m. right now. So I'm just gonna eat. I'm not gonna even talk to you. I'm just gonna act like we're fighting or something and then I'm giving you the silent treatment. Mashed potatoes and gravy. I've also got coleslaw. Just looks like mayonnaise. Very sexy. And I have an apple pie here. And I've got, let's see here. Potato wedges. Can't go wrong with potato wedges. Just act like we're fighting or something and I'm giving you the silent treatment and you pissed me off or whatever. So let's act like we're fighting. Ready? Three, two, one, role play. Extra crispy chicken. Uh, that was amazing. Oh, I'm mad at you. I'm not talking to you. It was good, but I'm not talking to you. We're fighting, remember? Hmm. root beer <clears throat> when I am hungry I get hangry like very angry I'm not a I'm not a fun person to be around when you're seeing that first thing right now that's my fault for not eating earlier so I'm sorry if I'm in a grumpy ass mood today but just give me 30 minutes And then after 30 minutes, we can 
I don't know, pillow fight or paint each other's toenails or something, but right now I'm pissed. I need my food. Yes. So good. Did I talk shit about KFC in my Popeyes video? I'm a shit talker. I'm that type of person who says a lot of crap and all of a sudden starts eating it like a hypocrite. That's okay, forgive me. You get a KFC video. Mmm. Hmm, no apologies for this. Eat the top first, and then you get the bottom. and then cartilage last. Big one. Hmm. Happiness. So much happiness. Oh hell, do this. And Zyla, you know who gets the brunt of my anger? It's my boyfriend. I scream at him. I'm so... I'm so irrational when I'm hungry. I'll ask the same question. Where do you want to eat? Oh, I don't, I don't care. Where do you want to eat? That's all I, how do you not know what you want to eat? And I turned into a fucking monster because I'm a control freak and it gets messy. I still don't, I mean, I know it's just me, but I still don't understand why he can't just decide on a goddamn place to eat. Like, why is it so difficult? And I know that a lot of couples struggle with this on a daily basis. And I understand that we're not all created equally. So there's always one side that, you know, knows what they want to eat and the other one doesn't. And, you know, when the one who doesn't know what to eat lets the other person decide, the person who, you know, decides it all of a sudden says, actually, I'm just trying to describe my relationship <laughs> where I'm the one who goes, you don't even want to eat that. Why are we going to go there? Crazy. Crazy. Look, if I'm spending my money on food, we both have better enjoy it. I, I better not be the only one who's enjoying the goddamn meal. I spent a lot of money on it. Anyways, that's my psycho, psycho way. I'm actually gonna... Oh, there's two. There two apple pies. I'm gonna start eating an apple pie. Mmm. Still so warm. 
Mm. Oh my god. It's so warm. Mm. These fast food restaurants are really killing it with their desserts. And sometimes I do wonder what it's like to not be in a relationship or to be single, right? I've been in one for, I've uh, been in a relationship for eight years. I forget what it's like to not have to depend on someone else to make a decision. Now, I guess at the end of the day, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, right? But I mean, people in relationships know what that's like. It's just something that you experience. You, you can't just think for yourself anymore. You have to think for two people and it can get so frustrating. And it's funny because I always hear single people go, oh gosh, I really want to be in a relationship. I really want to find someone nice, you know, to spend my time with uh, and to be with. Oh yeah, it's great. I mean, if it wasn't, then I would definitely be single now, but being in a relationship, oh my Lord. Once the honeymoon phase is over, good luck. You gotta work on that shit. It does not, it does not lend itself to you. You've gotta make sure, oh, it is a lot of work. And these days, I actually, I've been in a relationship for so long that I've passed, um, I've actually never, never been able to have those um, dating apps that are available now, like Tinder, um, what others? I don't know which other ones exist. Um, there's one for gay people, which is Grinder, but that's really just to hook up, you know? Whatever. I'm sure Tinder is for hookups too, but. It's just, it's been so long, you know, I, I wasn't ever able to experience that directly through my phone, you know? So I always like to play with my friends' Tinders. They often show me and I, I usually swipe, whatever, is it right? Le I don't know what, what it is, but I kind of like just sitting with them while they go through their Tinder account and look at, you know, their potentials or whatever. I think it's kind of cool. I think it's, it's awesome, but it's unfortunate I never got to experience that. Not that it matters if, I mean, if you're happy in your relationship right now, do you really have to do that? See the cartilage. Don't ever throw that away. Nice little crunch. This is 
incredible, you guys. This food is as delicious as it probably sounds. It's absolutely fresh. I refuse to let my fast food sit around before filming. Mm. Mm. And if you are single and you're feeling sorry for yourself, I think you should open up a Tinder account or whatever it is, a dating app. And I know like there are people who are totally against it and there are people who are for it. I get it. It's split in the middle. I mean, if I was single and I was so feeling sorry for myself and I was sad and desperate and lonely, I think I would just, I would create those accounts. Absolutely. With a profile. Um, and even if I wasn't going to commit with anybody, I think it's kind of nice to have. I, I, kind of nice to have because it's good for I think it's good for morale I think it really it makes you feel good about yourself when someone's messaging you and telling you that you're beautiful and giving you a little bit of attention I think that's okay I mean if that is your sole purpose you know period then I think that's okay too if you want to just create an account to get a little bit of attention here and there just to make yourself feel better you know I think that's okay that's Absolutely fine. A little attention does not hurt, honestly. We all want attention. It's just that we all cannot admit that we want attention. And a lot of people would argue, well, you know, I don't like attention. I'm socially awkward. Fine. But I'm not saying you should get attention from a group of people, but I'm sure you would want attention from someone special, just one person. We all want attention, different levels of it and different kinds of attention. As long as you admit to it, you can move on with your lives. This is really good what I did earlier. Mm. Mm. Oh shit guys, I'm gonna finish this up. Done. Done, done. So maybe I'm a little bit in the game, but someone brought to my attention that I guess YouTube is really cracking down on videos that, um, that basically, I'll, uh, I don't know, like videos that have a lot of curse words, videos that, um, that contain a lot of sexual behavior or sexual talk. I don't know what it is. I didn't really read too deep into it, but someone brought that to my attention. I thought it was so funny because that's it's basically my videos. <laughs> um, they're basically cracking down on my videos. Now, what it means is that they're not going to pay us through our ad, through ads, I guess. And I figured because they don't want to be associated with videos with that type of content. But I'll tell you something, if that was ever the case and if they pulled my videos because of that, knowing me and knowing my stubborn ass, I would not make another video again. I will not make another video where 
I'm not using curse words or talking about anything sexual just because that's who I am. And I think that once someone takes something away from you that you truly believe represent, represents you, that's when I just draw the line and I say, well, I don't want to anymore. Sorry, YouTube's a great platform, but if they're doing that, I think it takes away a lot of self-expression from all YouTubers that happen to use curse words. Fine, maybe I could use fewer curse words, but none at all? I mean, that's ridiculous. And look, I, I don't understand how these words are even considered curse words, like fuck, shit, asshole, like how are those... I understand that they have meaning and I understand that they have a specific connotation to them, but, or a specific tone to them, but those are often created by us. Those are often us associating it with a specific something, right? I, we're making it bad words, in other words. Um, but to me, saying fuck or is just so... It's important for language, I think. It's, it allows me to express myself. There's a difference from saying, I love KOC, you know, versus I fucking love KFC. You know, there's, there is a difference. I, I think that it's important to use those type of words, to really, truly express yourself. It's beautiful. Um, it's language. It's, don't be afraid of it. I, I don't know. That chicken was damn good. I'm having a drink. You guys always complain that I don't drink. I do, I just cut it out. You don't see it. And the reason why is because when I drink soda, I burp a lot. Burpings. I feel like my burps are violent burps. They're not even just regular burps. Like they actually hurt. Mm. Clear the table. Tian is a nasty little pig. Mmm. Mmm. Fantastic meal. Fantastic meal. Let me wipe up my mess, because you know that's what I like to do.
So I finally did a KFC video. How cool is that? And a Vertiquez look. I already said it earlier. Fine. KFC is delicious. It is. Now, as far as my favorite between Popeyes and KFC, I would still have to give it to Popeyes. I love Popeyes. But that does not mean that this was not delicious. I mean, that extra crispiness in that chicken, unbelievable. I can see why this is, you know, is expensive in certain countries. For me, this was, what, 12 bucks? But um, in other countries, I'm sure it's super expensive. So I'm very thankful for this food. This is delicious. One last apple pie to finish off this episode. I ate that food so fast. Oh my God. Mmm. Apple pies, wow. The crust is very crispy. I think it really, really, really adds to the experience. Mmm. 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 Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Mmm. Hmm. One last bite. Absolutely perfect. Did you hear the airplane? All right, guys, thank you for having lunch, dinner, breakfast, whatever you're doing with me. Um, I always love seeing you. And for you single people, find some love. Find, some, find somebody that makes you happy. Just remember, okay, don't go down your list. I expect them to be, you know, super rich or super anything like that because that's not reality. What it is is that you need to find somebody that actually makes you love yourself. I know that sounds so fucking cheesy, but it's true. If you find somebody, or if you're looking for somebody, make sure that this person makes you feel better about who you are. It has nothing to do with what they have or what they do not have. Um, that's all that really matters, you know? Because at the end of the day, we're trying to enhance us, you know, ourselves. We, we can't control other people. We have no control other people. Not even the person that we've married or any of that. We don't have complete control over them. The least you can do is to fix yourself. And what better way to fix yourself when you can find somebody who will help you fix yourself or make you the better version of Anyways, yourself. So. That's my little spiel. Sorry. <sighs> I miss you guys. That was delicious. Now I'm gonna go to sleep. I love you. Bye.